I have some happy mail to share with you today. Um, I went to the mailbox the other day and I had a nice surprise in there. Um, this is this gift um, was from Peggy McCurry. Um, she gave me a lace book and then like a folio journal um, type of junk journal type thing. So I'm going to go through them just so you can see how beautiful they are. She knows my style big time. I'm going to start with this lace book. So it's got a wider spine because you're going to fill it up with your laces. But the paper's beautiful. Um, it's closed with this right here. Um, she's got lace on the seams of the spine. <clears throat> but look at that paper. It's so pretty. And then when you open it, it's got different spools then for you to wrap your lace around. There's some extra ones in the pocket here that look like this. And then there's one, two, three, four, six of these. And so you can wrap, I don't know, like three different types of lace or ribbon or whatever around these and then put a pin in it so they don't flap around. But I just love the idea and I love this paper. It's real feminine. It's got flowers, roses, pinks, greens. It is so gorgeous. So I feel very lucky that she chose me to give this to. And then the back has uh, these extra two. But look at that paper. Oh, adorable. So thank you for that. I will definitely get that filled up. I've got plenty of things that I can put in there, that's for sure. And so the closure, she just has a hole in the back cover. And then you put your either seam binding or ribbon or whatever you're going to use to tie it. And there's that. So then I opened that up and then underneath was this in the box. So this trim is beautiful. It's um, ruffled and it's got pearls on it. This closure, I like that sheer ribbon. This thick lace goes all the way around the book. It's really pretty. And she stitched around the paper. So she went to a lot of work on this. But she gave it to somebody who really appreciates it. So it does have some cutouts here. It's got one of those little paper clips to keep it together. She just tucked that into the lace there. And she's got a little tag here. It's got beads on the little, oh, um, what do you call those? See, no, oh, there's a name for these pins. I can't remember what it's called. So it's a trifold. So you open it up and on the left hand side you have a pocket and there's a tag and she did some coffee or tea dyeing. I, well it's got kind of a pinky color so maybe it's avocado dyeing. I don't know. And then when you have a trifold you kind of have to leave this flat but I could tuck something behind here like so. When you open it up, this is a pocket, uh, I think. No, it's not a pocket. I lied. Um, it opens up. It's magnetic. So you could put a picture here. She's got two more tags here. Look at this paper. It's gorgeous, you guys. It's gorgeous. And her work is meticulous. It's beautifully done. There's a tag down here. And then you close that up and move it to the side there. This is the side that has the pocket. Another one of those tags. How cute is that? And then that's like a, it's tea dyed, but it's got a texture. It's like a, what do you call that? Um, that type of waxy type paper. Uh, shoot, I can't remember. It's like when you get on video, your mind totally goes blank and you can't remember words. It's pretty ridiculous, but... Um, there are three little pockets here. All of them have a little tag, like so. These are vellum pockets, lace with trim on top. And when you flip that over, this would be a... Um, is this pocket on top? Yep, it's open on top, I think. Um, but then she put this little booklet inside. And again, I know I keep saying it, but the paper's beautiful. Then there's lace trim on the um, spine here. 
double pocket here so she's got a tag and then these cutouts This says Paris Theater, but then inside, this says Paris Theater too. Inside there's tea dyed or avocado dyed because it's kind of a pink color. But can you see the roses on that? Oh, love it. I know this took a lot of time and the result is absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe if I made something like this, I don't know if I could give it away to be real honest. And I'm not trying to be selfish, but it's so pretty. I don't know if I could get rid of it. Ooh, gorgeous. Little, this is a bag, and then there's a envelope inside here. Yep, I just absolutely love this. And then here's to keep it in. There's holes uh, in the spine. And then she's got little beads at the end that hang down at the bottom. I just... Love it. I feel really lucky to have it. So thank you, Peggy. Like I said, your work is fabulous. The paper you chose for me, spot on. And I might have to use this as a pattern to make my make one for somebody else. So I wanted to show you this, not to make you drool or to be jealous, but I wanted to make sure I gave Peggy credit for her beautiful work. Uh, let's see. And then this goes in, then this, then this. I think that's how it goes. And then you wrap this around and you tie it. So there are my two have, uh, gifts from Peggy. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Um, I hope to make I think I want to make both of these actually. Wouldn't it be cool to have all of your lace on these books and then I'm on a, on a shelf? Oh, love it. And I think I could probably find a die or um, a file in Cricut or something to make those spools. Anyway, it's beautiful and I, uh, I really appreciate it, Peggy. It arrived on my birthday, so I felt like it was happy mail on the right day. So thanks again.